The world of finance coming right at you. Bitcoin today soaring to a new record high value over $63,000. The cryptocurrency exchange platform called Coinbase prepares to make its market debut tomorrow. Coinbase, with a value of more than $100 billion, according to some Wall Street analysts, will be the first company specializing in digital currencies to launch an IPO. Very interesting. Joining us now to comment and advise... Fox Business contributor, FoxNews.com columnist Liz Peake, and David Bonson, founder and managing partner of the Bonson Group. David Bonson, um, A, are you going to underwrite or sell uh, this Coinbase? B, the $63,000 of Bitcoin, that's pretty high. By the way, uh, a couple of others um, went up today, too, these cryptocurrency operations. And C, is this a sign of inflation? I guess that's another thing I need to throw in to this kitchen sink question. A, I am not going to touch it with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> B, I can't, remember, I can't remember what the second question was. And C, it's not a sign of inflation. Well, the sec- let, let, let's focus on... Let's focus on C. Let's focus on C. Yeah. So the CPI yeah. came out today. I guess it was slightly higher than expected. Is this a pop? Is this temporary? Or is this going to go on for a long time? And what are markets telling you about the inflation story? Well, again, the 10-year is sitting here at 16165. It hasn't moved in about a month now. Even when it ran up with all of the inflationary headlines, it ran up to like 1.8, a really, really low number for a supposedly inflationary environment. So the bond market is always the loudest voice in the room, and the bond market is absolutely not talking inflation. Um, And I think the issue with crypto is a totally different world. It's trading on completely different dynamics, mostly social dynamics, speculative ones, but no, not pricing inflation. So, Liz, um, I know David was very cowardly. He wouldn't even touch the um, Coinbase offering, which I I think is really bad. This is a big national TV show, and I'm going to ask you for it. But first, Liz Peake, let me just go to the inflation issue. Are you panicked over most of my friends? And smart economic people are telling me inflation is a huge worry. I'm not in that camp. I'll probably be wrong. But the question is, what do you think? Uh, I think inflation is here. I think this is the opening salvo. I think the numbers will get worse. The argument is whether this will continue in 2022 or whether this is a blip. I think, Larry, with all this money being pumped out into the economy with such loose monetary policy and giant stimulus. All right. Well, that, your point is what most of my pals are saying. Yeah, be wary. I'll just chime in. Uh, I know I'm in the minority among conservatives. Uh, I'm just if the dollar doesn't break down, if the exchange rate of the dollar holds, I don't think inflation is going to be a real long term problem. But, Liz, you were so bold in answering the first question. And again, referring to David's cowardice regarding the Coinbase IPO. So analysts on Wall Street, are saying, we're going to give him time to recover on this. But I'm going to ask you, analysts on Wall Street are talking 100 billion dollar valuation. That's a pretty hefty number for a uh, cryptocurrency exchange. What do you think about it? A hundred billion dollars puts it amongst the top 85 most valuable companies in America. I think that's preposterous. (laughs) I understand the concept here. I understand why blockchain excites a lot of people. I'm with David, honestly. I would (laughs) I would not touch it either. And I think it's extremely speculative. Well, David Bonson, you see how bold and outspoken Liz Peek is. I'm going to give you another (laughs) pass at this Coinbase story. Do you think it's preposterous to value it at $100 billion? Would you tell your folks, uh, your clients to invest in this? No, we would not pay 125 times net income (laughs) or 25 times expected run rate revenue, top line. (laughs) And that's with Bitcoin here at $60,000. The reality is that even if Bitcoin stays higher, 
I don't think Coinbase's business model is defensible because other exchanges will come in and put a race to the bottom on trading prices, just like you saw with stock trading over the years. So their whole revenue model is dependent on something that I think is very vulnerable, which is Bitcoin prices. And secondly, could totally change with competition. They don't have any monopoly there. But Larry, can I just have 20 seconds on inflation? 20. To, to say, 20 I, seconds. You say you're in the minority seconds. as a conservative. 18 seconds. Okay. You, 18 seconds. You and I are a minority together, my friend, because everything Liz said is true, except for the problem is it was even truer after the financial crisis. Mm. $4 trillion of new money on the Fed balance sheet. Trillion dollar deficits year over year. We got really low economic growth. That's not good, but we certainly didn't mm. get inflation. That's what people are missing. The Fed can't just create inflation. Yeah, I'm kind of in that camp too, but I don't know. I may not be smart enough to know. Liz Peake, you are absolutely fabulous. David Bonson, good try at a recovery. I'll give you a lot of credit for that. <laughs>